Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to let you know about the update on this extreme pattern we're going. It's still going to bring a big heat dome over the center of the U.S. and the West Coast, as well as the Southeast. Plus, it's going to change our next pattern for severe weather. So, I'm going to give you all the latest updates. You've never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I've been talking about this pattern change for a few weeks now. Now, let's get into your information. Now, first off, it all starts from our West Coast. So, when you look at your EPO, your East Pacific Oscillation, lets you know when you're going into a trough or a ridge on the west coast you can see as we go from the 15th all the way to the 18th and 19th all the models agree there's going to be a very high ridge it's going all the way into canada and then it's going to model down and be another ridge in the 20s as it travels across the center of the u.s bringing severe weather and bringing very hot temperatures now this is bringing temperatures way up into our country matter of fact you can see the ridge that we are in now and y'all have a lot of warm temperatures from this ring of fire and after it goes on this little dip it's going way up and it's going to bring even hotter temperatures guys so make sure you prepare for this make sure you hydrate the day before and you can see here what it looks like when you have a positive epo east pacific oscillation you start getting a higher ridge on the west coast as your high pressure builds and this brings your jet stream up higher as well but when you get a high ridge on the west coast you will get a trough towards the east coast and you can see here from your jet stream, you have a nice little ridge now, and it is bringing you winds from the west to the east, bringing your storms from the west to the east. But this ridge is going way up into Canada, bringing a lot of hot temperatures, plus it's going to change your severe weather pattern. It's going to bring winds all the way from the northwest to the southeast, and as this goes further and further to the south, it's going to bring your severe weather further and further to the south. And you can see that from here. So as you have your high pressure building, you still have all them very hot temperatures, even record breaking temperatures. But it's bringing you winds from the west towards the east for your severe weather. Now, as we go into this very high ridge, it's going to bring a lot of warm temperatures as well. But it's going to bring you winds from the northwest down towards the southeast. And as it builds, it's going to bring this jet stream further and further to the south. So that's going to bring severe weather towards Ohio Valley, Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. As it gets bigger, it's going to start bringing it towards the deep south and the southeast. And you can already see how bad the temperatures are just from that little ridge. And we do have air quality alerts, guys. I am still showing it that Canadian wildfire smoke is still coming into our country. So you will see more of this. But you can see all the green is all flash flood watches for all the precipitation that you're getting. But all this orange is heat advisories all the way to southern Florida, all the way up towards Washington. And all this pink is excessive heat warning. And this is going to build and move over the center of the U.S. and the southeast. And so far for the air quality alerts for central and southern Minnesota, they have it for unhealthy groups, for sensitive groups, such as heart disease, asthma, and such. So you need to be aware that you do have unhealthy for sensitive groups for today all the way to 3 p.m. on Saturday. But you also can see here from HRRR that as your wildfire smoke comes on in, it will start affecting more states, especially as you go into later this afternoon coming in not only from Minnesota, also for the Dakotas, eastern Wyoming, a little bit of Montana, and a big plume is going to start moving in. And as we go overnight into tomorrow, this is going to go further into the U.S., guys, bringing chances for bad air quality. So please be aware of that. And you can see the update would go satellite that this is going to continue through the weekend and still go towards the Central Plains and towards Ohio Valley, bringing a little bit of thicker levels there. I will keep you updated on the air quality, and it is still moving towards the intercoastal of the northeast after that. So for the first five days, this is going to be over the west coast. So all the extreme heat advisories, this is going to be your hottest temperatures of the year so far expected. And it is going to be five straight days of extreme heat with no significant cool down overnight. But remember, like I always says, don't be scared about these things. The best thing you do is just prepare for these things. So here's some good plans that you can go to. Make sure you pause the video, check them out. And some of the best things you can have is not only high water content in your vegetables and snacks, set your ceiling fans to spin counterclockwise. That way it's not blowing the heat down on you because heat does rise. It will pull everything up to the top and cool you down. Now, as that ridge starts getting bigger, as we go from the 17th and on, you can see it is still bringing hot temperatures towards the southwest, very hot heat indices. Also, it's starting to bring it from the south, 
the southeast, and then start bringing it towards the north central. This is on the 18th. On the 19th, this pattern is going to continue and start moving a little bit further to the east towards Illinois and covering Missouri, even a little bit of southern Indiana, western Kentucky, and western Tennessee. And on the 20th, it's going to be there as well. From the southwest all the way to the southeast in the Carolinas, all the way towards the Tennessee-Kentucky Valley and a little bit of the lower Ohio Valley. Now on the 21st, this is when it starts bringing that trough down, so your temperatures are going to be lower, but you still have a lot of strong heat indices, but just beware. This is where your severe weather is going to start, and as this lowers even further, it's going to be even further, bringing severe weather all the way down to the south. And yesterday, we already had a big outbreak of severe weather. We had over 220 wind damage reports plus over 130 hail reports not to mention the flooding that happened you saw the flash flood emergency that i posted on my community tab for mississippi it was pretty bad but look at all the wind damage reports that we had yesterday over 200 plus when you look at your lower level winds you can see for today with ace triple r that we do have a lot of strong winds aloft bringing a lot of severe weather even around 11 p.m tonight getting really strong for eastern Kansas and southern Missouri as that comes in and brings some more winds to the upper Midwest. That's what's bringing in some of that wildfire smoke as well. And that is going up for tomorrow, bringing severe weather with those winds as well. Not as strong as you go into the evening, more like earlier throughout the day for the Tennessee-Kentucky Valley. This is just the beginning of the pattern, guys. As this gets even higher, this is going to get stronger and get lower. So for today, it has ramped up again. You even have an enhanced section for severe weather, and that is your chances for tornadoes. You have a 2%. Here's your cities and states at risk so far. Also, it's bringing hurricane force winds. You have 5%, the 15%, even the 30 right in that region where I showed you the storms in the beginning of the video. I will go back to that. But now you have the significant severe in the black. That's at least 75 miles per hour wind gusts. So here's your season states at risk for the damage of winds for today, for Friday. And the white line on top is your hurricane force possibilities. Also, this is bringing hail, a lot of hail. You have 5%, 15%, but you also have this big 30% area right for Kansas going towards Missouri. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. And I will go back to the map and show you a little bit of zoom view of which cities are at risk and when. But you see, as you go towards 1 p.m., you get some storms right along the east coast as well. And they go all the way to the afternoon as that pushes down North Carolina. But these storms that's popping up for Nebraska, going into Kansas, going across Missouri, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, even Iowa. These are some strong storms popping up all evening long across northern Mississippi as well, western Tennessee, and western Kentucky. And by the time you get into midnight, this is where it just goes overnight, and you still see the bowing out in those storms. That is still bringing damage and winds overnight into the early morning hours going into Oklahoma, going into Arkansas as well. Then after tomorrow morning, it's going to build right back up for the Ohio Valley, and you're going to get some nasty storms moving through northern Alabama, going through Georgia as well, and they're going to pop right back up. And that's going to go through Carolinas and Virginia, go through West Virginia for tomorrow afternoon, and that's going to swing up towards the northeast also. But as soon as we get to 2 and 3 o'clock, we're going to start having multiple storms bringing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts, plus some high 30s and 40s as well. But once you go to 4 p.m. and on, that's when you're going to get a straight line wind damage event going through Kansas, going through Iowa, going in a little bit into Missouri, but a lot stronger for Kansas going towards Oklahoma. And then later tonight, it's going to go even further to the south, bringing high 40s to 50s, 60s, even 70s. ACRRR is showing over 80, but you got at least 60s and low 70s coming with this system. And you can see as it pushes through Iowa, through Missouri, through northern Illinois, through southern Wisconsin, all even along, it is bringing high 40s and 50s as well. And then for tomorrow, it's going to kick off right again, not as severe as today, but it is going to bring some high 40s with those storms across the southeast and along the east coast going towards the intercoastal northeast. So here's a better look all the way to later tonight. Everyone that's in a threat for high 40s to 50s to 60s in the red and possible 70s and above and all of these brown features with these isolated storms is just popping up all over the place. This is going all night long into the early morning hours and that is going to be a bad damage and wind event. Definitely straight line winds coming with that. 
please prepare for that because that's going to be some bad storms. And then for tomorrow, it's going to go towards the east coast. And you're going to get some more for southern New Mexico going into Mexico as it starts building even more. But showing so far, tomorrow is going to be somewhere in the 40 miles per hour wind gust. Maybe getting to high 40s and some places getting a little bit of the 50s. I'm not showing it super severe for tomorrow. Today looks like the worst day out of all the days so far. But when we check high resolution rapid refresh every 15 minute increments, look how much more powerful these storms are showing. All the way from noon, all afternoon, bringing anywhere from 50, 60, 70, 80 and multiple cells popping up for Illinois and across southern and northern Wisconsin as well going up over 100 again remember you always suppress this down a little bit definitely bring in 70s and 80s and maybe even get some 90s in there as that goes overnight into the early morning hours a lot of strong storms coming bringing a lot of damage and winds from multiple states also bring in hail when you look at your updraft hey, let's see it lets you know about a strengthening cell bring a lot of strong updrafts and that brings you a lot of chances for strong hail potential strengthening cell maybe even a tornado but a lot of chances for strong hail to come all night with this storm all across eastern wyoming nebraska all in kansas going across northern arkansas a little bit for oklahoma western missouri a little bit for iowa and northern illinois and as you go later tonight into the early morning hours it's going to keep on going through oklahoma and northern arkansas then tomorrow it's going to spark right back up not as strong as today but you got some strong storms coming through colorado eastern new mexico going towards the panhandle of texas for tomorrow but not showing is going to be a lot of strong cells bringing a lot of hail towards the east coast for tomorrow you have some for north carolina some for virginia a little bit of sporadic towards the new england states not as severe as what they have for today and you can see with the lightning strikes with the euro that this really gets strong especially as you go in through the afternoon a big area of a lot of lightning strikes the more lightning strikes you have the stronger this cell is a strengthening storm bringing you a lot of large hail this is showing so far over 9,000 lightning strikes just in that hour and look how it just grows not only for the south also mississippi going to alabama some for northern illinois but look what's going through kansas that is a lot of lightning strikes coming all evening along all the way until later tonight into oklahoma as well plus missouri getting in on it look at this this is going all the way from 1 p.m grows by 4 p.m gets even bigger by 6 p.m and then it just gets off the charts by the time you get towards 7 p.m and so far showing over 29,000 lightning strikes just in that one hour as that goes all night long. And that is going late night and overnight hours, bringing more chances for hail as you go through Missouri, going through Illinois, going through Indiana into the early morning hours. Then it starts weakening down just a little bit. But look at multiple people, multiple states getting all these lightning strikes all night long into the early morning hours. And then for tomorrow, it's a lot milder than what you have for today. But all the way till Monday morning, it is still bringing a lot of heavy precipitation, especially for southern Alabama, the Panhandle of Florida, even southern Florida, going into North Carolina, Virginia, and the Northeast. So all that green and that blue is anywhere from a quarter inch to a half an inch of rainfall. But once you get to that orange and that yellow, that's an inch. And once you get to that red, that's, that's two inches. And once you go towards the East Coast, you can see it really builds up for southern Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, some of southern Georgia, also for southern Florida. And look right here for North Carolina. You're getting over two inches in that red going up towards southern Maryland, Delaware, eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, all of, all of New England states, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Maine, even Long Island getting over an inch. But all this is going to be more heavy rainfall, bringing more flooding to an area that already had catastrophic flooding just a few days ago. Now, so far for tomorrow, there's no chances for tornadoes. It will be wind and hail. So here's your cities and states at risk so far for Saturday. And also on Sunday, you have more chances for severe weather. Here's your cities and states at risk. I will be uploading again on Sunday morning to keep you aware of what's going on. And you can see just how bad it's going to be, guys. So for today, not only the marginal, but you do have a slight risk of flash flooding also over here towards the Carolinas and Virginia. And you're in a slight risk and a big moderate risk over here for the Northeast. And this is going to happen again. It's not just for today. For tomorrow, it's going to mild down. You do have a little bit of a slight risk. But as you go back through Sunday, here it comes again, right back to the slight risk and the moderate risk for flash flooding once again for the northeast 
But for today, these storms are really going to start sparking up, especially as it goes through Kansas. So as you go through 2 p.m., you do get some hail cores in those cells. You also get some for southern Missouri. There's other storms in other places, but this is for the tornado threat. You see how it goes all even long by 4 p.m. Now it's moving through Kansas from Nebraska. Now it's going all the way towards Missouri, bringing storms to Mississippi as well. So this is going all night long with your chances for these storms. This is by 10 o'clock now bring a lot of hail cores in those as well, as it still has a damaging wind event with it. And by the time you get into later tonight and early morning hours, that's when it starts weakening down. Still getting some winds behind it, but it starts weakening down after that, and it turns into maybe 40 miles per hour wind gusts, and it really starts going away. But you can see for the rest of the country, all the way from Wisconsin, all the way to Iowa, all the way to Missouri, western Tennessee, western Kentucky, northern Mississippi, even Illinois getting in on these storms as we go through later tonight around dinner time, 8 o'clock through 10 o'clock. And then overnight is going to bring more storms for the Ohio Valley while you get a little tail whip going south. So you got to watch out for that tail whip. That is what brings you worst parts as that goes through early morning hours and starts bringing more storms for tomorrow afternoon as that pushes towards the east coast and the northeast and brings even more weather towards the intercoastal northeast than the northeast. Also for Florida, you get some storms as well. You get some storms that's going to brew up this afternoon. Some pretty nasty little storms. Not super bad, but you have some nasty little storm cells that's going to brew up for today. Then mostly for the panhandle is going to see some possible hail cores as you go through this afternoon. Then that's going to dissipate and it's going to come back a little bit more for tomorrow. From the northern Florida all the way down to southern Florida by 2 and 4 p.m. for tomorrow. And it's going to stay all even long and consolidate somewhere around eastern Florida before that dissipates as well. But most of all, thank you so much for your time. Hope you have a very great Friday out there. God bless you and your families. If you've never been here before, I only upload on Saturdays if there's lives at risk. And it looks like it's going to start calming down because Sabbath is from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. So we'll see you again on Sunday morning. Matter of fact, today I want to speak to you with Psalm 50. 1 through 6. The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. And Selah means think about what you just heard. So I'll read that part again. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody. Be safe with those storms for today. They look very powerful, especially with those straight line winds. And remember about this pattern that's coming, because this is going to change everything. It's going to change the heat dome. It's going to change our severe weather. So get ready for that as well. I will keep you updated every single day. Thank you all. Hope you have a very blessed day. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always bless you and keep you safe, you and your families and your neighbors, every single day of your life, forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Father. Have a great day. Everybody.